Hello friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and in today's video I'm taking you along with me and my husband. We actually went to an antique slash vintage show and I wanted to take you guys along with us for that little venture out and then I will have a haul at the end of the video. Um, we did get some clips at the show and then I did pick up a few things. Not a lot of things because like I've said in previous videos, we do want to move across the country back to our home province of Nova Scotia. So we also kind of got to um, keep that in mind with uh, what we're purchasing from now on. Because one, we're going to be mo moving into my parents' home until we are ready to move to Nova Scotia because our home is on the market. So hopefully it will sell soon and then we'll live with my parents until the spring and it will also help them out because they also want to move back to Nova Scotia. So um, yeah, so many moving parts, but needless to say, what I'm trying to get at, get at is um, we need to be aware of what we're purchasing because we do have to take that stuff across the country and it's quite expensive to move across the country right now, to be honest. Um, U-Hauls have gone way up because I, I uh, did a, what's it called? A quote in June and then I did one at the end of August and it was like almost a $9,000 increase for the exact same truck and trailer thing. So, <laughs> that has kind of changed my thought process about moving across the country and what we're going to be taking and whatnot. But anyways, um, so we have to be careful with what we buy. So I didn't buy a whole lot. And honestly, I probably didn't need one of these things, but I just like them. And because I want to get a like a small cottage home, I just think that this would, one of the items would just be so cute. To have for that so anyways without further ado let's jump into the clips of us at the show and then we will come back here and i will show you the haul Okay, so now into the haul portion of this video. Like I said, I didn't get a whole lot of items. I just got a few things. And then from one shop or booth, I got five cookie cutters. Now I just love the way the vintage ones look with the little handles. I really like that. Um, I did get two that were the same and it's just these uh, little leaves. I believe it's like a holly, holly berry leaf and then they were a dollar. Every one of these cookie cutters were a dollar. So I have those two. And then I also found a Santa Claus one with a gift bag thing on the back. So I have that one. And then I also got this bell for Christmas. 
And then I got this one. I think this one's for like a biscuits and things. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not completely sure. Um, let me know in the comments below if you know what this one is used for. But I'm thinking it's used for biscuits. The only thing it says on it is nut brown products. So England. It was from England. Um, so I'm not quite sure. But part of me thinks it's for biscuits. So I have just this round one. So those were all the cookie cutters that I got. And then the last item that I got um, was this antique wash bucket. And it actually has the area where you put your mop and squish it down to get some of the water out, which I thought was so cool because I've never seen one like this before. I mean, I've seen like pictures and things like that, but I've never seen one in person before and I just thought it was so cool and it's something that I could use I could put in the garden with some flowers in it or really I could use it if I ch chose to but I'm not sure if it leaks or anything it doesn't look like there's any holes or anything in it on the bottom but you never know it is kind of dirty and kind of rusty on the bottom so I'm not sure exactly if I would use it or not um, but I just thought it was really cool and something that I thought would be nice to have this was it says $25 on the tag But we only paid $20 for it and yeah I'm kind of excited to use this when we or not so much Maybe not for mopping but like I said for to put some flowers in in the garden or something like that I think that would be really cute and I just really liked it. So We grabbed that there were tons of other things that I absolutely loved at this vintage vintage show but of course like i said we are moving across the country so i have to limit limit myself on what i am purchasing which is so hard sometimes but um once we move back to nova scotia it'll be much easier because i'm gonna oh, i just cannot wait to decorate a decorate and probably renovate a small cottage for us to live in all year round that is like oh, it's such a dream like just thinking about it and i cannot wait for it to happen and i hope it happens soon uh, because it's been a dream of mine for a little while like a small cottage or a farmhouse oh, i just i hope it all works out so um yeah that is all to share with you guys today i know this is quite a short video um but yeah, it was just a quick trip to this antique slash vintage show. And like I said, I only got a few things. So that's all I had to share with you guys today. But I did want to share it with you guys anyways. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps me out. And definitely consider subscribing if you enjoy um, vintage, or not vintage, antique, and I can't even talk now. Uh, I do a lot of thrifting, antiquing, and de decorating. Um, I'm kind of venturing into... Uh, like cottage life even though our house technically isn't a cottage right now but I do definitely decorate with cottage vibe and it like how do I how do you how do you even know how to put this I do decorate with a cottage theme in my house so if you guys enjoy those types of videos definitely consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one bye guys